What up, y'all? It's your boy, Corona Boy Thurs, and this is How I Prep for Drill Sergeant School. Double time! Double time! Oh! We keep it moving. Yeah, we keep it moving. Hey, welcome back, bruh. I hope y'all had a great, great Christmas. I had a great Christmas, spent some time with the family, got a couple presents, gave a couple presents. Everything was all good. Thank y'all for checking me out. If this is your first time to the page, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you always be updated every time I upload a brand new video. Also, don't forget to check out the social media, all that good stuff. Thank y'all so much, man. Hey, so I'm going to go over the hand salute with y'all, okay? Uh, like I told y'all in the rest positions, the hand salute is going to be, it's going to be a good one, okay? There's a lot of stuff that you can do in the hand salute as far as if you're an assistant instructor to kind of help the person that's pitching this module, okay? A lot of stuff you could do. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hope I'm not freaking forgetting anything. Let me get my screen recording here. All right, so once again, going over your preamble your first like five sentences or so y'all just want to make sure you remember the setup remember everything in green you have to absolutely say the first sentence is going to explain that this is a movement all right the next movement which i want to explain demonstrating and which you will conduct practical work on is the hand salute second sentence this movement is used when reporting and to render courtesy and respect to officers the flag in the nation all right your second sentence is letting you know what the movement is used for now for this part here the thing that I use to help me remember what this is for, this movement is used right here. This movement is used when re when reporting and to RCR, render courtesy and respect. And you already know that you're going to salute to officers, the flag and the nation. You can add, some people you might not think about, you know, saluting to the nation, but remember, I, you always know that you got to salute officers and the flag, right? So whenever you're going to use it to render courtesy and respect, RCR again. RCR, render courtesy and respect to officers of the flag in the nation. All right, so then you got your third sentence, what is telling you what the commands are. The commands for this movement are present arms and order arms. And then the fourth sentence is telling you what your two part commands, your preparatory commands, and your command of execution. This is a short one, all right? Present arms and order arms are two part commands. Present and order are the preparatory commands. Arms is the command of execution. And then you got here, when given these commands are as follows, present arms and order arms. Remember, when you say, when given these commands are as follows, remember, you go to the position of attention when you say, present arms and order arms and demonstrator post. Make sure you stay the position of attention. We're going to use the talk through method of instruction for this. So, well, there's three different ways that you're going to do the hand salute, okay? When wearing headgear with a visor or without glasses, when wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered and wearing glasses, and then you're also going to have when wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered and not wearing glasses, okay? So again, whenever you have a headgear on with the, that has a visor, because when uh, when's the other time you'll wear a headgear without a visor? Your PT cap, right? Your PT cap is the same thing. The same thing is going to follow... Uh, when having your PT cap or uncovered, those are the same. You're going to salute the same way with those, and you'll see what I mean here, okay? So, uh, the hand salute is a one count movement. When wearing headgear with a visor, with or without glasses, all right, so you have to remember that. Excuse me one second. Where my headgear with the visor at? Where the hell is my headgear with the visor? Here it is, okay. For training purposes, for training purposes only, I'm going to put my headgear on indoors, okay? Just so I can show y'all. So you got your headgear on with or without glasses, all right? I'm going to show y'all. It makes no difference with or without glasses because your headgear is going gonna, is gonna to determine where you're placing your fingers, okay? Start right here on the command of execution arms or present arms. As a demonstrator, just do exactly what the person pitching is saying. Do exactly what they're saying. If they don't freaking say it, don't do it. That's the special tip. You remember that when you're freaking doing a demonstrator too. Whatever they say, that's what you do. That way they'll know if they miss something. This The hand salute is so detailed. The details, attention to detail, so specific, you can tell when the hand salute is wrong. That's why in the last video that I did when, we, uh, when, I, when I reacted to the anti-military YouTuber against the angry drill sergeant, when he did his hand salute, I said I didn't like it, right? 
We'll buy your titties for you. Mm. I will say I hated how he had his thumb. Right. Okay, so on the command of execution arms or present arms, raise the right hand sharply. So when I was when I was a demonstrator and when I had my demonstrator, uh, all he did raise his hand. He just raised his hand sharply. Fingers and thumb extended and joined. That's why I didn't like when he had his thumb like that, because your fingers and thumbs are extended and joined. So all the way out and joined. The palm facing down. So you should be doing all these as a demonstrator as they say it. If they don't say it, don't do it. That way you'll know. For instance, if they say fingers and thumb extended and joined and place the tip of the right forefinger to the rim. So the what if the palm, the palm's not facing down? See, that way you know, oh, that, that doesn't look right. That's not how we salute, okay? So raise the right hand sharply, fingers and thumb extended and joined, palm facing down, and place the tip of the right forefinger on the rim of the visor, slightly to the right of the right eye, okay? So you still know that, so that's all you've done, okay? So what I used to remember this stuff as I pitched it, fingers and thumb extended and joined, you know your fingers and thumbs are always extended and joined. Like when you go to parade rest, your fingers and thumbs are extended and joined. You know, y'all should know that phrase by now. Palm facing down and place the tip of the right forefinger on the rim of the visor slightly to the right of the right eye. So to me, that's kind of a tongue twister right there. Place the tip of the right forefinger on the rim of the visor slightly to the right of the right eye. I had issues remembering slightly for some reason. I couldn't remember slightly and to the right of the right eye. That's another one of those ones uh, to the right of the right eye. OK, I think it was another one. Um, I think on the rest positions, we were talking about how you move the feet. So this one is place the tip of the right forefinger on the rim of the visor, slightly to the right of the right eye. So over here like this, right? The outer edge of the hand is barely canted downward so that neither the back of the hand nor the palm are clearly visible from the front. Okay. The outer edge of the hand, this is here, is barely canted down. You should barely, you should have it barely canted downward. And you have to remember that so that neither the back of the hand nor the palm are clearly visible from the front. The hand and the wrist are straight, elbow inclined slightly forward, and the upper arm up here is horizontal. Horizontal, straight right and left. If you do, if you do exactly what the person pitching is saying, then they're gonna remember, oh, something's not right. You know what I'm saying? You can, like I said, let's say you just said, you know, raise the right hand sharply. Place the tip of the right forefinger so you didn't say fingers and thumb extended and joined. Do it like this. And they're going to know, oh, my fingers and thumb need to be extended and joined. Okay? When you go and you pitch, your uh, drill sergeant leader, he's going to let you know if you said stuff out of place. But as long as you hit everything, you should be good. You're going to get gigged for saying stuff out of place, though. Okay? So just make sure you say all this stuff. You have to know. Make sure you're saying all this stuff. So slightly, it was the word slightly and sharply. I used to get those mixed up. And they used to always get me, okay? So, I don't know, man. Y'all, I don't really know what to do for that one to help y'all remember, okay? So, then from there, you're going to go to order arms, all right? Order arms from the hand salute is a one-count movement. On the command of execution arms of order arms, return the hand sharply to the side, resuming the position of attention. You just know whenever you're done at order arms, you go back to the position of attention, okay? So, you have to remember that. And then from there, remove your headgear. All right. When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered is the same thing. Let's say you're wearing your PT cap. You don't have a visor on your PT cap, right? You don't have a visor on your PT cap, so you can't put your finger on your visor. But so where would you put it? It depends on if you're wearing glasses or not now. OK, if you're wearing glasses or not. So let's keep on going. When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered, which is the same thing, and wearing glasses, so right here they're going to say when you're wearing glasses. Let's go ahead and put our freaking glasses on, all right? When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered and wearing glasses, on the command of execution arms or present arms, execute the hand salute in the same manner as previously described. This is another, this is another thing that I like right here. Uh, execute the hand salute in the same manner as previously described because you're not going back and explaining everything all over again. Except... Touch the tip of the right forefinger to that point on the glasses where the temple piece meets the right edge of the right brow, okay? A lot of stuff right here that I had to use to remember. Touch the tip. Remember, it's not place the tip, it's touch the tip. I used to always think place the tip of the forefinger. It's not place, it's touch. 
And see, this is why it's kind of confusing. I got confused because place the tip of the right forefinger is only when you're wearing headgear when uh, with the visor. When you're wearing headgear without a visor or uh, uncovered and wearing glasses, you will touch the tip of the right forefinger. Is the tease. The tease is what I use to help me remember this. Touch the tip of the right forefinger to that point on the glasses where the temple piece of the frame meets the right edge of the right brow. Okay. So this is the temple piece of the frame, meets the right edge of the right brow, over here. You wanna put your finger right about here. I would say right here on the crevice, on that little freaking, on the joint, on the joint of your freaking glasses. That's where I would place my tip of my right forefinger at when, when doing the hand salute with headgear without a visor or uncovered and wearing glasses. I'll put my tip of my finger right there, the same way as previously described. So keep your fingers and thumb extended and joined, palm facing down. The right edge is barely canted downward so that neither the back of the hand nor the palm are clearly visible from the front, okay? Don't do your thumb, you're not supposed to do your thumb like that when you freaking do the hand salute, okay? To that point on the glasses where the temple piece of the frame meets the right edge of the right brow. R-E-R-B. R E R B. I just used to remember right edge of the right brow. Right edge of the right brow. Order arms is executed as previously described. All right, so now remove your glasses. Remove your glasses. When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered, let's go ahead and take off our freaking free, our hat because we're uncovered. And not wearing glasses, on the command of execution arms or present arms, execute the hand salute in the same manner as previously described, except touch the tip of the right forefinger to the forehead near and slightly to the right of the right eyebrow. So my right eyebrow is here. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put the tip of my forefinger and my freaking middle finger. I'm gonna put that right there on the edge of my right eyebrow. That's how I always do it. All right, same thing. Fingers and thumb extended and joined, palm facing down, barely canted forward so that neither the back of the hand nor the palm are clearly visible from the front. And then order arms is executed as previously described, all right? Now, here's the extra part. When reporting or rendering courtesy to an individual, turn the head and eyes toward that person addressed and simultaneously salute. So right here for this part, when reporting or rendering courtesy to an individual, all I did was remember, I try to think of what I would do if I was saluting somebody, all right? So when you salute somebody, you just turn to them and freaking salute. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. And you'll do it simultaneously. You'll turn your head and eyes toward the person and simultaneously salute. So right here, address and simultaneously salute. I used to use ass right here, okay? I I know vulgar or whatever, but ass is what I used to use. And if you want to do it two A's and two S's, that's what I that's what I used to use right here. To the person address and simultaneously salute. Because sometimes I used to get it mixed up, salute simultaneously, all right? In this situation, the actions are executed without command. Actions are executed without command. I used to always think of AAE also right here. AAE without command. The salute is initiated by the subordinate at the appropriate time, six paces, and terminated upon acknowledgement. So here also, I just, just letters, right? The salute is initiated by the subordinate AAT at the appropriate time, six paces, and terminated upon acknowledgement. I had a tough time remembering and terminated upon acknowledgement. I used to I used to stall when I used to pitch to my wife and 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 I used to forget what word I said right here. And terminated upon acknowledgement. Also, think about also when you're running and when you're marching. When running and marching, you can also salute, but when double timing an individual, any individual soldier must come to quick time before saluting. So just think about it. When you're when you're running and doing PT, we are running for PT, not running as a group, but let's just say you're just running by yourself and you happen to pass by an officer or the flag, right? So you're running, you need to stop, walk, salute, and then from there, once you render your salute, you can keep running. Note, when in a formation, only the individual in charge of the formation salutes. When at double time, only the individual in charge assumes quick time and salutes, okay? Um, so the only thing I can, I remembered the note pretty good as far as, as what the breakdown of it was. I remembered the note pretty good, but I can't think of anything there as far as letter wise, you know, any kind of patterns to help me remember uh, what to say for that part. So at normal cadence, this movement, remember it's a movement. At normal cadence, this movement would look as follows. Go to the position of attention, present, arms, order, arms, demonstrator, replace your glasses, Re present, arms, order, arms, demonstrator, replace your headgear, present, arms, order, arms, at ease, 
What are your questions pertaining to this movement when executed at normal cadence or using the talk to method of instruction? Again, go back to the position of attention. Demonstrator, attention. You will not become my assistant instructor. Fall out. Remember, so how they right here, you'll see at normal cadence, this movement will look as follows. And it's saying, demonstrator, replace your glasses. When you're doing this, when you're doing this and you're freaking, you're the demonstrator, have your stuff with you. Have your stuff with you. You're gonna be wearing, you're gonna be wearing your headgear already, because you're gonna be outside while you're pitching. Make sure that day that y'all are pitching this, that you have your freaking eye pro in your pocket already. You never know, you never know what module you're going to have to be the demonstrator for on that day that y'all pitch the, the top three, okay? And then once you freak in, they're going to say, okay, when wearing headgear with the visor, with or without glasses, and then they're going to tell you, remove your headgear. Just take your headgear off and place it right in front of you. And then when you're going to uh, do your hand salute uh, with headgear, without a visor or uncovered and wearing glasses. And then at the end, they're going to say, remove your glasses. Just take your glasses off and throw them in your freaking hat. That's it, okay? That's about all I got for y'all as far as the hand salute is concerned. Like I said, y'all, the main thing that y'all want to do is make sure that as the demonstrator, you just do exactly what they're saying. That way, you're kind of helping them out as far as, hmm, what do I say next? What, what did I forget when I was telling them to freaking do the hand salute, okay? Remember, fingers, if they don't say fingers and thumb extended and join, don't freaking get the fingers and thumbs extended and join. Kind of exaggerate and have them like that. That way, they'll know, hmm, that looks weird. Extend the fingers, or extend and join the fingers. All right, they'll freaking do it just like that. Hey, y'all, that's all I got. I want to thank y'all so much for checking me out. I know y'all been asking for this. I've been wanting to show y'all again. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. If this is your first time to the page, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you'll always be updated every time I upload a brand new video. Thank y'all so much. It's your boy, Corona Boy Thirst. I'm out. Holla at your boy.